All right. Uh, welcome back. Um, I thought I would just uh, do a brief video on what my uh, FVWM configuration is like. Um, so let's uh, let me open up my dot FVWM config just so that I can reference things here and there. And um, <clears throat> I guess the first thing that I'd like to say is that when you um, log in using my uh, my configuration um, after a couple moments so uh, you'll see uh, a tmux session going here in a uh, full screen x term uh, at first um, and then emacs will pop up on top of that and um, if you uh, hold down uh, control shift and meta or alt and hit M, it'll uh, pop up this sort of uh, information bar that I have set up with the time, the date, what desk you're on, and what page you're on. Um, so control shift uh, J will take you down a page, control shift K will take you up a page, L to the right, and H to the left. And as I mentioned before, there's a, it's a four by four grid. Um, and then uh, Control Shift M will hide that bar again and uh, just sort of toggle it in general. And then you can switch to a different desk with Control Shift Meta and uh, L to go to the right and it will wrap around and H to go to the left. And that also wraps around. So, uh, and then the last thing I think is of importance is that uh, Alt Tab will switch you back and forth between all of your applications. Um, so if you've got more than one application open, you can switch back and forth between between it. Um, with just alt tab. Um, so like I just opened Tor and I can switch to uh, to Tor um, just by alt tabbing. Um, I have Tor set up to open on page zero one. Um, so the right uh, one, the right uh, index is the uh, vertical column and it starts at the top and and goes down as the numbers get bigger. So zero is the top and one's the bottom. Um, and then also control shift M toggles um, maximization, maximized, I guess. Um, and uh, the keyboard shortcut to pull up uh, this root menu is uh, control shift and then uh, forward slash um, or like the question mark key. Um, and you can navigate down and up with J and K. And uh, you can also use like, so if you hit A, that'll bring up KiCad. As you can see, uh, that A is underlined. If you type E, that'll open up a new Emacs session. T will open up a Tor session, F Firefox, um, C, opens up the FVWM console, uh, which is just another X term window really, but it will uh, <clears throat> allow you to enter uh, FVWM commands uh, and pass those directly to the window manager without having to edit your configuration file and restart things. And then, uh, so the R will restart. So if you do change your configuration file and wanna see how it looks, um, you don't have to log back out and log back in. And then the window ops, uh, there's an option to send um, whatever window you're currently on, you can send it uh, to a particular page or to a particular desk. And um, H, J, K, and L, just in general, 
um, move to the left, down, up, and to the right. Um, if you've ever used uh, Vim, uh, that'll be familiar to you. Um, but honestly, I think that's it um, for, oh, the one other thing is that, um, so I do have both Emacs and Xterm running in this um, same, on the same page and desk. And I use control shift uh, and then the semicolon or the colon key uh, to move whatever window is on top to the bottom. So it just sort of cycles through. Um, if you've only got two windows, it's a nice way to just sort of toggle back and forth between those two. Um, let me see if there's any other keyboard shortcuts um, that I've missed. Um, oh, I also do have like cursor movement, so uh, meta shift and then the uh, HJK keys will uh, move the cursor around. Um, I even have my keyboard uh, configuration is set up to have mouse keys as well. Uh, so I can actually uh, click on um, a, uh, well, I thought I could. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I can actually move the uh, mouse just with the keyboard. Um, but anyway, um, and then also uh, control shift C moves the mouse to the center of the screen. Um, I'm just gonna do this in read only mode. Um, oh, and then uh, control shift apostrophe will iconify um, a whatever window you're currently working on, um, if that's possible. It doesn't always work. Um, uh, specifically, it doesn't work with my like new keyboard configuration because the window manager gets confused. Um, but, oh, and then control shift in uh, will give you information on whatever window you're uh, currently focused on. So you can see this is full screen. So it's got a width of 1360 and a height of 768 pixels. Um, and, oh yeah, you can close anything that you want um, by just doing control shift meta X. And I believe those are all the keyboard bindings. Um, if you go to this section on uh, styles, um, there's a couple things here that are maybe worth mentioning. Uh, these like starts on page bits uh, say where certain windows by what page they uh, get put up on by default. And if you have skip mapping um, in this list of styles, then uh, you won't go to the application as soon as it opens, um, which is kind of nice if you know that you're going to need something later on, uh, but you don't like want it to don't want to go to it right away. So like if I know I'm going to need KiCad later, I can hit uh, A here to open up KiCad, and it should not have warped me there. So uh, I don't know what's oh. Yeah, it should not have warped me there, but it did anyway. Um, it works for Tor browser, so if I open up Tor, that won't warp me. Um, but in any case, uh, that's it um, for this video. Uh, just a little cheat sheet on how to use my configuration. Um, I think it's pretty nice. Um, it's uh, very keyboard heavy. Um, which I like. 
it's nice to not have to move my hand over to the mouse too much. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, hit like if you liked this video. Hit dislike if you didn't like it. And uh, leave a comment down below letting me know why in either case. And uh, if you've got any questions, criticisms, or concerns, uh, leave a comment as well. And as always, if you want to get notified when I make new videos, uh, hit subscribe. That's it. Thanks. Peace.